Basically, whenever you guys are doing identities and you see that there is a sum or difference of angles, like whenever you guys see sine, cosine, tangent, you know, the sum and difference of two angles, you should immediately start thinking of, oh, well, I should probably apply my sum or difference for this. Now, not always, because like I said, you know, for a lot of the problems we did here, we could use the cofunction identity, right? So sometimes you want to look for this cofunction identity. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sum and difference identities to show that the left side is the same as the right side. So first thing, I'm just going to apply the formula. Yes? So x represented like an angle? Yeah, x is like an unknown. All right. So if we go ahead and apply this um, sum and difference formula, we could have sine of pi halves times the cosine of x. Oh, I should mention this. Notice, guys, this is u minus v. Think of u and v as in parentheses. So the subtraction does not make the v or the x negative. So when I'm plugging them in, that's my u and that's my v. Does that kind of make sense? The negative does not like distribute inside of it. Like it's u minus v. So think of u and v as separate. Okay. The plus or minus is really just telling me which formula that I'm going to be uh, using. Then I'm just going to have plus cosine of u, which is pi halves, times the sine of v, which is x. So what I did is I took this side and I rewrote it using the sum uh, or the difference formula for sine. Yes. Huh? I don't know why I'm adding. It's supposed to be subtracting. Sorry. OK, so now let's go and evaluate everything. What? Well, because the formula says u minus v, so u should subtract. When it's u plus v, you add. OK? So what this says is cosine of u plus v, you do subtract. If it's u minus v, you add. They're just switched. Okay. And again, we'll go over a cosine one and a tangent one, so you guys will see how it works. But now let's go and simplify this. So as long as we know as long as we know how to evaluate in the inner circle, we're pretty good. Sine of pi halves. Think of pi halves. Sine y coordinate. That's going to be one. Pi halves. Same thing as 90 degrees. Then we have cosine of x minus the cosine of pi halves is. 0 times the sine of x. Well, 0 times anything, guys, is just 0. So we're left with cosine of x equals cosine of x. Well, we already knew that. Correct. I'm verifying. <laughs> so I'm just showing you just another way that this cofunction identity works. And again, really